That is John Sue with Oakwind Realty giving you an inside mortgage tip. So if you're self-employed and you claim a small income like most self-employed people do, chances are your your regular banks like CIBC, TD, Scotia, they're going to reject your credit application. So you're better off going directly to a mortgage broker instead of trying to go to your bank first. And yes, I know you've known Sally at TD for 10, 15 years and you've got a good relationship and don't worry, the bank's going to take care of you. But here's the truth of the matter. You're just a number. And yes, do relationships work? Yes. But banks are the most conservative lenders out there and they have a very strict criteria. And sometimes you can get strings pulled, but most of the time it doesn't happen. And if you don't fit within their sandbox or their criteria, guess what? Your son could be the branch manager and he got to say, sorry, mama, can't get you a mortgage because the big boss TD says you don't fall within our guidelines. You got to go somewhere else. And this is especially crucial in timing if you've got an offer in a hot market because some of these bankers got to meet with you and that'll take at least a couple of days. They got to look at your files. They got to send it off to underwriting. That'll be three or four days wasted. And if it's in a hot market, you could lose the deal. So work with a realtor that's going to ask you that question and direct you to the right mortgage broker. That's why you use your, more, your realtor's mortgage broker and not your own because the, the realtor knows who to send you to. So that's the mortgage tip from a realtor. And yeah, I was working on a case on my own and I actually direct the client wanted to go on their own and that was the exact case what happened. But I sent them to my client, to my mortgage broker. She got the job done. Uh, no surprises, no secrets. And it was just a much, it was a couple of bumps in the beginning, but I smoothed it all out.